Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nurmal here and in this video, we'll do the detailed FAQ on the Redmi Note 9 Pro. So Redmi Note 9 Pro is the latest smartphone announced in India and this device uh, comes with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G. It has uh, uh, larger capacity battery as well and a uh, whole lot of features are also included. Uh, it has a new uh, camera setup as well. This is uh, the Samsung's uh, GM2 sensor, the 48 megapixel sensor. So in this video, we'll uh, have a look at uh, uh, the FAQs on this device. So we'll be doing the regular 20 point FAQ on the Redmi Note 9 Pro and we'll answer all the questions uh, you have for this device. So let's get started. First step, let's have a look at the build quality. Now, something which a lot of people are interested uh, is how strong the build is and uh, uh, is it uh, actually durable material. So uh, we can't test out the durability as such, but then what we feel about the build quality is that this is pretty good. It's a glass material on the back panel. It is protected by Gorilla Glass. Now, uh, when we checked with uh, Xiaomi team, they mentioned that this is not a metal chassis. This is uh, uh, a combination of metal and polycarbonate chassis. That's what company mentioned so this uh, actually is not a metal chassis outside it's actually plastic or polycarbonate material uh, uh, the frame is sandwiched between glass on the back and as well as on the front panel so that's how the build quality is and the material quality looks really good it's uh, pretty solid and this is actually a heavy device in fact the, because of the larger capacity battery the device is pretty heavy as such and uh, even uh, using it one hand is quite okay but still it's kind of heavy device at this price segment now next uh, let's talk about the display so this has uh, an ips lcd panel and you can see that the display quality looks pretty good you can see that uh, viewing angles are also good and this is the standard 60 hertz refresh rate and uh, one thing what we noticed was uh, the redmi note 8 pro display was a tad better than this uh, especially with the brightness levels and also uh, a bit of detailing uh, the display quality looked slightly better on the redmi note 8 pro but not by huge margin though but still this display is good and even uh, in outdoor visibility is quite acceptable too now talking about the display protection that's what uh, people want to know because this is protected by Corning gorilla glass 5 on the front panel on the back panel as well as for the camera area so it's a triple uh, gorilla glass that's what company claims uh, gorilla glass on the back panel on the camera unit as well as on the display all are gorilla glass 5 support now talking about the sim cards so we'll just uh, pull out uh, the sim card you can see that this is the sim tray and uh, you can see that uh, it has uh, dedicated sd card slot included and uh, two sim cards and dedicated sd card slot is included so that's a sim card uh, tray on uh, the redmi note 9 pro now next uh, is uh, the storage so this device comes in two storage variants 64 gigabyte as well as 128 gigabyte now the storage is a uh, ufs uh, 2.1 storage and uh, this comes in uh, either 4 gigabyte ram or 6 gigabyte ram and uh, it is having lp ddr 4x ram so that's the configuration available on this device now next let's talk about the software so uh, we have the miui 11 on this device so we'll just uh, take uh, you to the miui option so there you go so this is the miui and you can see that this is the global uh, 11 version and uh, we have uh, uh, additional features are also included like a game turbo quick reply second space and uh, if you look at uh, the miui option so it's quite similar to what we see on any xiaomi smartphone so no major difference here and you get uh, additional features like support for themes and uh, it's, it's a well built ui and now this runs on android 10 uh, that's the latest version of uh, android android 10 uh, you get and uh, you can see this is the android 10 version now uh, let's talk about the performance so this device has uh, the qualcomm snapdragon 720g processor and uh, it's a pretty good processor actually we have seen this on the redmi i mean realme 6 pro as well now uh, in terms of day-to-day -day experience we have been using for a couple of days now in terms of day-to-day -day experience it's very smooth experience uh, no issues whatsoever and uh, it is responsive to all the tasks it is put to and if you look at the gaming experience we have done a detailed uh, or dedicated gaming video you can also have a look at that video uh, the uh, gaming experience looked uh, pretty good uh, for the 13k price segment even though you don't get uh, smooth and uh, extreme uh, in pubg mobile but still uh, it's a pretty good uh, device for gaming and uh, there is absolutely no heating issues uh, on this device so uh, do check out our detailed uh, gaming video to get an idea about how the gaming experience has been now next uh, is the led notification so that's something which a lot of people ask us so we'll just connect this 
and here you can see that if you can have a closer look you can see that this is the led notification available so that's the led notification included on this device it's very small actually it's uh, you can actually miss that when I mean, if you are not placing it rightly it's very difficult to notice but still there is an led notification included now uh, next uh, is the fingerprint scanner and face unlock so we have done a detailed video on that so the fingerprint scanner looks uh, uh, solid and it is fast uh, it's not as fast as the realme 6 pro or the realme 6 so it's still uh, acceptable you can see that it's fast and even the face unlock i will just uh, show you the face unlock as well so there you go so again it is pretty fast in terms of the performance now uh, usb otg is supported on this device so you can connect your pen, uh, computer peripherals and uh, other uh, pen drives uh, using usb otg cable so this has a usb type c port so make sure your otg cable is also type c now next uh, is the speaker quality so we'll just uh, test out the speaker with an audio here So you can see that it is adequately loud enough and the clarity also looks pretty good especially when gaming the sound output is uh, pretty good and even uh, music playback uh, the sound output is pretty good for a budget smartphone. Now next uh, let's talk about the sensor. So we have installed the sensors app and I will just uh, show you uh, the results. So there you go you can see that it has accelerometer, light sensor, orientation, proximity, gyroscope sound and magnetic sensor. So all the sensors are included so nothing is missed out on this device. Now next uh, let's talk about the camera. So this is one thing which uh, Xiaomi has changed here. So we have a, a quad way camera. So this is a primary 48 megapixel camera. In fact, this is the Samsung's GM2 sensor. It's a new upgraded sensor. And Samsung says that this is uh, this helps in a better low light experience. So we'll be doing a detailed camera review soon. So in that video, we'll uh, talk about how the camera experience is. Now this has a, an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera along with that it has a macro sensor the macro sensor has been upgraded from 2 megapixel to 5 megapixel and it also comes with a 2 megapixel depth sensor so that's the quad camera setup and you also get a 16 megapixel uh, in display camera or punch hole camera uh, and uh, this is again a pretty decent camera so uh, here are some camera samples uh, quick samples uh, we'll uh, be doing the detailed camera review so you can check out that uh, video to get an idea about how the performance has been. Now next is the battery. So this device comes with an upgraded battery. It has a 5000 mAh capacity battery and this supports 18 watt fast charging. Now uh, many people have been asking us whether uh, you can use the 33 watt or the 27 watt charger uh, from Poco or uh, the Redmi Note, uh, uh, Note 9 Pro Max on this device. Uh, you can use but uh, this will only support 18 watt max so uh, the circuit has been decided in such a way that the maximum charging that can that uh, the redmi note 9 pro can take is 18 watt and it, it can't go beyond that so even if you charge with any other charger the maximum supported is 18 watt and uh, uh, the charging time we'll have it a separate test uh, it's almost close to two hours for the 5000 mAh capacity battery and the battery performance is anywhere close to nine hours of screen on time which is really good uh, for a budget segment nine to ten hours is uh, uh, easily uh, achievable on this 5000 mAh capacity battery it's a really optimized processor as well so battery life is stellar on the redmi note 9 pro now next is widevine l1 support so that's one thing which a lot of people ask us so you can see that this device surprisingly does not have widevine l1 support it's l3 so uh, realme 6 pro has uh, uh, widevine l1 support here you can see that this is widevine l3 so no l1 support is included on this device that means you cannot play uh, netflix or prime videos in hd you had to go to lower resolutions now camera to apa another thing which a lot of people might be interested so uh, you can see that there is level 3 support so uh, you can actually install any uh, uh, apk and uh, try this out we'll be doing a camera review with uh, uh, the g cam and i will show you how the experience is now next uh, let's talk about uh, the voice over wi-fi so this device has uh, voice over wi-fi feature so now we have inserted the geo sim card you can see that uh, there is an icon here for voice or uh, wi-fi and so you can enable uh, this uh, from the settings in case uh, you're not uh, seeing this by default you can go to settings and uh, enable uh, the voice or wi-fi uh, feature 
Now colors. So there are three colors available in just yellow black, the glacier white and Aurora blue. Those are the three colors available. And uh, we feel uh, the white variant looks pretty solid. Uh, the black looks kind of okay. Uh, the blue is kind of, um, we are seen on a lot of devices. So white looks really great in terms of the colors. Now pricing, uh, the base variant is priced 12 triple nine. that's 4 GB RAM and 64 GB storage. The 6128 variant is priced 15 triple nine. that's kind of steep pricing I would say, uh, not the best pricing, but still uh, the base variant has a really good pricing. Now availability, it's already on sale, it's available on me.com and uh, Amazon, you can buy it from uh, anywhere uh, and this will be coming to me homes and uh, um, other retailers pretty soon. So that's um, uh, the performance, I mean the availability of uh, the Redmi Note 9 Pro. So that was the detailed FAQ on the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Hope uh, we have answered all your questions and queries. In case you still have anything, do drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your questions. So that's it for this video. This is Nimal signing off. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.